finding the perfect font combination inside of Canva can be a little bit daunting, a little bit time consuming. I mean, you come over, you grab a font and you are scrolling down and about five days later of scrolling, you've still not reached the bottom of your font palettes or your font options inside of Canva. In fact, I've just scrolled down a heck of a lot here and I'm still on the A's. There are thousands and thousands of fonts inside of Canva, but I've got three tips, I think it is, I think it's three tips for you to help you find better font pairing, fast, quick and easy inside of Canva. Let's dive in and take a look. So you've got your design here. This is a template you've decided that you want, but you want something that's a little bit different on there that with the font pairing. The first thing you can do, let's say you wanted something a little bit different. You could come down the side here and let's say you wanted to choose the font pairing on this template. You can click on the three dots here inside of here and you can apply the text only on this and that's going to take the fonts from that template and apply it to your design. So that's number one how you can easily do that. Let me show you that again inside of with a different template. So we're just inside the design option here. I've looked for nutrition inside of Canva. I'm just going to scroll down to find something that's a little bit different. So we've got one, another one here where it's got this uh, diet program fonts options and we want to apply the text only. There you go. You've got different fonts again and it don't have to be on the same thing. So or the same subject. So let's say you wanted something that looked, looked a little bit more like car like you can type in the fonts here or you can type into the search engine up here and you can click on the three dots and you can just apply text only and that's going to take those fonts and apply them to your design. Now the thing is is each design and each aesthetic is going to have a look different look and feel to it but you know you can have a play about with this and take the fonts or the fonts outline from anything these are just some of the trending designs right now so let's say we wanted to apply this font here we want to just apply the text again there you go you can then just come in resize that to make sure it fits with inside your design you can just drag it from the corners to resize the text box and make sure it fits inside of your design there really really easily the second option we've got on here is we've got the actual text box. So on the text box here or on the text menu on the left hand side, you can set up your font pairing inside of your brand kit or you can choose some of these font combinations down the side here. Now I don't know if you know, but I was with a client recently or talking to a client recently and they didn't realize that you can actually edit the text inside of these. So it's not just say, you've got this one here that says candle shop, you can actually change this to be whatever it is that you want. So if you want it to be the coffee shop, you can just change that. And then you can change the colors, you can ungroup these. And if you wanted to apply this to your design here, you can just come over to the three fonts here and you, or the three dots here. You see, you can't apply it here, but if you come up here, click on the actual font up here and because we've added it to a second page if I scroll back up to the top you'll see document fonts and it's got this one here which is actually the one from below I think it is the one from below let me just come on here you can see it's tan grandeur okay so you can see inside of the font box if you've copied one of the fonts over from the side here and then put that into a new box or onto a new page, then you can actually see it under document fonts. And if you added a third design here, you can see you can grab this one here, SCR font. You can see if we wanted to come up here, click on the actual font name up here, and you can see that you've got the SCR font here. So you can change that because you've added it to a separate page. Now font pairing is really, really important and you might not want to combine different fonts and stuff like that, but it is down to, I feel sometimes a little bit of personal taste. Okay, so do have a play about with using these fonts and 
adding them to your design. It depends on what kind of look and feel you want to give to your design. Now, the other way that you can actually change these is if you come over to the design menu, you can see up the top here, we've got an area where it says templates, and then we've got another tab that says styles. Okay, underneath styles, you've got all your brand kit options here. You've got recently used options here. You've got font, uh, you've got color combinations and font combinations, but that's going to change the colors of your design as well. And we don't want to do that. We want to scroll down that a little bit further, and you can see here we've got font sets. Okay, and then we click on font sets, and we can see we've got all of these different font sets. So we can just click on one of these, and that's going to then apply that to your design. If you've got multiple pages inside of your design, you'll notice that down the bottom here, it says apply to all pages, and then that will apply it to all pages. Okay, you can see down here, that's now applied it to and overwritten those other options. So if you do come into your font selection, you can see your document fonts have disappeared, but it does also have down here and this is a fourth option, you have some recommendation fonts. Okay, so this is saying, based on the fonts that you've got on there, this one, or based on your design, this font might work well. Okay, so we're gonna come over and I'm just gonna add a different page here. I'm gonna add a new or a different template. Let's say we want something for a disco. Okay, we've got this amazing font here. Okay, and this is where you can find different fonts as well for your design. You can search for a template that's around your subject, and that's where you can get those fonts from. That's kind of like what we talked about in the front or at the first side. But then you can come over to here, and you can then just come up to your font selection up here, and then it's going to set, give you your document fonts because we've got added some new ones here but it's actually changed this area here, which is your recommendation fonts, okay? Now it is gonna say you could choose this font. That's a really good font for this design. And it knows from the colors, the elements, and things like that that you're using, it knows kind of like fonts that you could actually change and do things with in your design. And I think you'll agree that that font actually works quite well with that. I mean, I kind of like the, the original one. It gives a much more kind of like 70s kind of like retro feel to me. But again, as I say, come up here, change the font on there, and you can change that to something a little bit different if you want. And you can, as I say, change these uh, as you would with any other fonts or any other text inside of a design in Canva. So if you wanted to say this was an... A, an 80s night so we're going to put the uh, apostrophe in the right place okay because it doesn't go between the zero and the s because it doesn't belong to the 80s well it does technically belong to the you, you, anyway that's the right place to put that <laughs> Okay, so that's fonts inside of Canva and how you can have a look at some of the great font combinations inside of Canva. Hopefully that helps you with all of your fonts inside of Canva and helps you choose some better font pairing for your designs. If you've got any questions around fonts, drop me a comment down below. There's a whole bunch of books that you can get on fonts and font pairing and all that sort of thing. I'll drop a couple of those down there for you as well so you can check out those books. And until next time, thank you very much and bye for now.